Have you heard of this concept called the Dark Triad? Well, if you have not, here's what it is in a nutshell. The Dark Triad is a group of these three psychological traits. Narcissism, or being totally obsessed with yourself. Machiavellianism, or using people for personal gain. And psychopathy, or lacking empathy for others. Now, why are these traits dark? Well, it's because of this. They're seen to be evil and destructive. And yet, as you will find out, you can use them productively and for good, especially when it's about love and women. I know this because ever since I started teaching Shogun Method, I learned something interesting. Guys who learn Shogun Method succeed the most when they have at least one dark triad trait. They are either narcissists, Machiavellians, or psychopaths, or a combination of all three. It's true. But here's the question. Were those guys bad or immoral? Well, they were not. This goes to prove an important point. You can have dark triad characteristics, and yet you can be as upright as they come. In fact, as a Shogun Method practitioner, you've promised not to use your knowledge to cause harm. The truth is this. You can use dark triad tactics to manipulate for love the right way. If, in the end, both you and your woman will get what you both want, that's all that matters, right? If others want to judge you for it, well, then fuck them. Now since you're here to learn how to be better with women, then let's focus on these three questions instead. Why do women seem to love men with dark triad traits? Do you have any of the three traits? If you don't, how can you get some? And how do you use your dark triad traits to win in love? This video will answer all three questions for you, and so promise me, you must watch it all the way until the end. You will open your eyes to huge possibilities that your mind will buzz with intense excitement, I guarantee you. Before we dig in, however, here's something to understand about women. They hate nice guys. I don't mean hate, as in how we hate Mondays or kids hate broccoli. I mean hate as in feeling repelled with mild dislike or indifference. And you know it's true. The nicer you appear to a woman, the less likely you'll score with her. If girls hate nice guys, who do they love? Bad boys, of course. But why do girls love bad boys? Now, relationship gurus and pickup artists try to explain this with stupid reasons. They say girls love bad boys because they are exciting, mysterious, or unpredictable. At first glance, those reasons might make sense, but there's something deeper at play. Shogun Method tells us that girls love bad boys because of one thing. Bad boys have dark triad characteristics. I mean, imagine the typical nice guy. Is he a narcissist? No, right? The nice guy is usually self-deprecating to a fault, always putting others before him. He'd never use others to get what he wants. He's definitely not Machiavellian nor psychopathic. And that's why he fails. Sad, but true. Meanwhile, the assholes, narcissists, Machiavellians, and psychopaths get all the women. It's unfair, and yet that's reality. And as a shogun, you learn to deal with what's real, not the wishy-washy ideal people imagine in their heads. Okay, with that understanding, let's jump into the first of the three dark triad traits. Narcissism is extreme self-love. Putting yourself ahead of others. Most of us are narcissists to a certain degree. For example, you want to look fit and presentable, especially in front of women, right? That's mild narcissism for you. Now, I want you to kick things up a full notch and be a full-blown narcissist. To achieve this, it's simple. Put yourself ahead of your woman. Your priorities come first, not hers. You decide what to do, not her. Your happiness and satisfaction comes before her own. Easy, right? This, of course, goes against what's ingrained inside us men. We're wired as providers by nature, and so we always aim to please. But guess what? Women want to stand by men as we do our manly duty of taking charge and saving the world. As Derek Riggs says in Shogun Method, women are happiest when they play the role of the nurturer of the masculine imperative. She wants to love and support you in her mission, and so let her, and you can give her this opportunity by putting yourself ahead. Make sense? Good. Next, let's talk about the second dark triad trait, Machiavellianism. Like the name implies, it's all about being a sneaky bastard like Machiavelli. If you've read The Prince, you'll know what I'm talking about here. It's about putting yourself ahead using deception, manipulation, and ruthless tactics. So, how do you be more Machiavellian when dealing with women? Well, it's quite easy. First, you must accept our natural pull towards manipulation. Because here's the thing, everyone manipulates. And you know what? 
Your woman is manipulating you, although she might do it without knowing. Here's the bottom line. To get ahead in love, you've got to play the manipulation game. Some men turn to Shogun method to quickly learn how to manipulate the flaws in the female psyche. Others try to figure shit out themselves with years of trial and error. It's up to you which route you want to take. Finally, let's talk about the third dark triad characteristic, psychopathy. Again, being a psychopath is not necessarily bad. People will not admit this, but it's true. Most men who make it big in life have some psychopathy in them. Political leaders, dictators, CEOs, billionaires. These are people who pursue their goals and not giving a fuck about the destruction they leave behind. That's the book definition of psychopathy, having zero empathy about other people. So, how does being psychopathic help you with women? Again, it's simple. For starters, you shouldn't care about your woman's feelings that much. Also, stop worrying about her opinions about anything. Amazingly, the less fuck you give, the more attractive you are to her. Simply, women love men who don't give a shit. It's a mystery why they behave like this, and yet it's true. Women are naturally drawn towards psychopaths, and so it's time for you to be one. Now here's the kicker. No man can be more psychopathic, or more Machiavellian, or more narcissistic at the flip of a switch. In fact, if you suddenly act crazy, your woman might get alarmed with your bizarre behavior. So the trick here is to be subtle. And here's the other thing. Before you dive headfirst into building your dark triad persona, here's a warning. Just having the dark triad traits doesn't mean you'll be successful with women. It's only one of the two things you gotta do to be successful with women. What's the other second thing? It's how you utilize your dark triad persona to win with women. Let me explain. There are two types of guys who learn Shogun Method, and we call them nice guys and bad boys. Nice guys are those with zero dark triad traits. Bad boys are those with some dark triad traits, or at least want to build them. Now, here's the interesting part. Both types undergo the same Shogun Method training. They learn fractionation, mind control, the IRA model, implanted commands, etc. Both learn the Black Rose sequence, and both go out and use what they learn and they bang lots of women. But here's the amazing thing. The bad boys do much better than the nice guys in almost every way. Women fall quicker for the bad boy. And not only that, the bad boy gets his pick among quality women. Not just the shameless skanks you meet at the bar. We're talking about demure, homely, and intelligent girls a man should wife, not just sleep with. So here's what I'm telling you. Shogun method will get you women, but if you have a dark triad personality, you'll 10x your results. It means you'll get more premium quality women with much less effort and heartbreak. How does that sound? Good, right? Now, if you've made it this far, then I've got to congratulate you. You found the holy grail of love, and the path to success is all but laid out for you. You just have to walk it. And there are only two steps to take. Step 1. Think about the dark triad traits you want to build. And Step 2. Learn Shogun Method. To help you with the second step, I'm inviting you to join the Shogun Method Masterclass. In this online class, you'll get to preview Shogun Method and see its power firsthand. You'll understand how the Dark Triad interlock with Shogun Method to unleash the dark masculine power within you. Your time has come for you to shine, and you must take the opportunity in front of you right now. Trust me on this. So, here's what's going to happen next. In a short while, a link will appear in this window. Click it, and it will bring you to the Shogun Method Masterclass. There, enter your email address and your set. If you don't see the link, find it in the comment section below, or visit this site directly, fractionation.org. Do it. It'll be the best thing you do for yourself all year. I promise. Go on and visit fractionation.org.